Welcome to the deserts of Bahrain, where the Formula One circus has rolled into town. We're expecting the cars to appear out on track shortly to start today's practice session. Now then, Anthony Davidson, we've had some really strategic races over the past couple of years, thanks to the current three-tire compound system, and of course the groundwork for all those strategies comes from the free practice sessions like this one. So what do you think of the current tire regulations? Well, they've created some, I wouldn't say exciting necessarily, but certainly interesting races. There have been a lot more questions around, like how long can someone stay out on this set, or they have the pace to catch another car if they suddenly bolted on a set of ultra softs, things like that. When everything comes together, we end up with multiple cars, nose to tail on different tyres, all fighting for track position. So on the whole, it's definitely been a positive step, I feel, for the sport. What is up everybody welcome once again to my channel and today let's continue with some more F1 2019 season mod in the F1 2018 game career mode We are still in the Toro Rosso and today we are here for the Bahrain Grand Prix AM5, uh, M5, first 5 and Adam welcome you all to the live stream How are you guys doing? Um, and, and yeah Bottas got Paul, I'm, I'm happy for him, that was an amazing job from him but Some yeah, let's start. Qualifying. Let's get our track oh, come on, Jeff. Program complete. It'll help us identify any specific problem areas on the circuit. So I've been uh, doing some practice, and I've been trying to to get uh, just a, a setup I'm comfortable with, and yeah, I'm I found one. I think I found one. Uh, so yeah, let's just get into it. Hamilton was lucky. What do you mean by that? Uh, let's uh, let's start with the practice program. Yeah, let's go for the track acclimatization. Let's jump to the flying lap, whatever, really. And let's try to get purple. Of course, I'm going to let the racing line on for practice. I think I'll disable it for qualifying and the race. At least that's the plan. Depends on how comfortable I am. Oh boy. Always bumpy through this turn one. Almost pulled off a Verstappen there. <laughs> hey Alex, what's up man? Well, if he's fourth and he improved, he deserves the, the front row. Like, he should be, because he improved, he posted the lap time. That curb on the outside of, like, that, what is that, turn six or seven? You got P6 in Q1, that's great, man. Hey, LGS, what's up? How are you doing? Now this corner is tricky because the car wants to lose the rear through there. The car really wants to lose the, the rear through turn 12. So it's going to be tricky during the race. But uh, hopefully you can keep the car outside the barriers. Uh, you are angry at Vettel? Why are you angry at Vettel? Hey Ravi, what's up man? How are you doing? Who will win at Shanghai? I would like it to be Bottas. But let's see. I think if Bottas doesn't, uh, if Bottas gets a better start than Hamilton, uh, I think it will be Hamilton trying to battle the Ferraris, and Bottas will be able to pull away. If uh, if if Hamilton gets Bottas off the start, then Hamilton will pull away as Bottas battles the the Ferraris. 
Vettel ruined Max's lap. He didn't ruin Max's lap. Max was just too slow. Like, Vettel is paid to, to get the laps in. He's not going to wait for Max Verstappen and lose the op and be cut out of, of the timer. That, that's how I see it. Everyone is trying to be able to make a lap. If you waited for Max, he wouldn't. So he had to go. It's not that they tried to, like, knock out Max, it's that he had to go. That's fantastic. Hey, Ray, yes, I'm using your setup. I just got purple, right? I don't need to go for another lap. Uh, let's return to the garage. No, I said, I, I don't, I'm not saying Max was slow overall. I'm saying that he had to slow down to prepare for the lap, right? But, like, if everyone waits for Max to go, then they don't get through, and everyone wants to get through. So they just jump Max. Max wasn't expecting it, but... Like, if everyone if everyone was quicker through the outlap, everyone would get through, but they weren't quick enough through the outlap. Uh, hey, Yarvine, what's up, man? How are you doing? And let's see. Yeah, I have I have the setup. I'm comfortable with it. Let's move to the race strategy. Let's do this one. Like, that situation is not Vettel's fault, it's everyone's fault. Because everyone released their cars with not enough time. So, it's it's every team's fault. That's how I view it, anyways. Oh, was Hamilton slower? Oh, okay, I didn't I didn't really notice, but yeah. Oh yeah, I have to be a bit quicker because I have a, t a delta this time. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot about that. That's a bit of understeer to there. Turn. Hey, Parody, welcome to the live stream. What are you doing, man? Oh, this track is so bad for me. How's my wheel doing today? Uh, it's fine. I've been doing a couple laps of practice, trying to find out a good setup. God damn it, I just demolished the curve there. Uh, I was trying to find a good setup and my, my shifter has been good so far. Oh yeah, you had your driving experience. How was it? I forgot about that. I'm supposed to be tight there, not supposed to mount the curve. God damn it. I tried to put the throttle down and just short shift, but I hesitated on the throttle, so I ended up just losing time.
You want you wanna buy a wheel? Uh, just don't buy anything from Trustmaster. <laughs> Okay, that was a much better lap. Okay, finally I got a clean turn one. No, I'm not pulling a Vettel. In practice, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to pull off a Vettel. Oh, you got driver of the day. That's awesome, Adam. That's great. But yeah, were you like driving on carts or what were you driving? I've I, I've go I went karting once. Um, yeah, I went karting only once. It was a one-hour race, and it was like teams of two. So I did the first stint. The other guy did the last stint. I actually didn't qualify off bad, like the guy, he set his lap and then gave me like the last 7 minutes of qualifying or so, um, so I so I could get acclimatized to the track. I ended up actually beating his qualifying lap, so we qualified like 3rd lap in a field of like, what was it, 15? So I got like 13th or so. Uh... We got like 13th or so, but then we started the race and into turn one I got to uh, run wide. Screen on your multifunction display will allow you to change various settings as you drive. Open the display with the MFD button. You can then navigate up and down to I the know, Jeff. you want to change. I know how <laughs> I know how to use the menus. Um What was I going to say? Yeah, I got run wide, like I wasn't given space into turn one, so I I was forced into the grass and lost back to last place. And yeah, I wasn't... I was able to like catch up, but I wasn't really able to overtake. Because of course, it was my first race. Like, overtaking people in a game is different than overtaking people in real life, right? So, yeah. Let's see what we can do now. Oh, come on. Let's see how good we can be on this last sector. Oh, yeah. Hey Nagi, thank you for the follow. How are you doing man? Welcome to the pit crew. What's up? Yeah, I ran out of YRS. I can't... Let me try that lap again. Um, yeah, let me just retry that lap. Hey, Ade uh, Myung. Welcome to the live stream. You love it. Well, I, I'm glad you enjoy it. But yeah, Ferrari looks like... Uh, oh, you were driving a for Fiesta? Wow, that's... <laughs> that's great. Um, but yeah, what was I going to say? I forgot. Yeah, Ferrari, they have... Uh, 
They aren't quicker on the straights because they have less downforce. They are quicker on the straights because they have less drag. Um, downforce and drag are different things. Um, but yeah, looks like the Mercedes are faster through the corners. So it's going to be tough. God damn it. I didn't really want to get the curb there. And yeah, I lost time. I had to try to get back on it. Get Ruben to 2k? <laughs> it would be nice. It would. Okay, let me just try to focus for this lap. Turn! I'm still almost three tenths off the delta. Yeah, this one is a tough one. I'm just losing speed because I ran out of battery. Oh well, whatever. Yeah, looks like I won't be able to get the 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 delta, but that's fine. Let's return to the garage. Uh, so you are at Austria now, Adam? So what? Did you crash at at France or or what? Hey Anna Bear, what's up? Welcome to the live stream. Do I know Contol? Are you asking me that? Uh, no, I don't know what Contol or who Contol is. Our best lap so far is a one twenty-eight point zero. Uh, so yeah, what do we have next? I hmm. Let me just now. Let's move to qualifying. Uh, yeah. Let, let's move to qualifying. And I'll do qualifying with the racing line, but I'll disable it for the race. Quick look at the classification at the end of the session, then. Here are your yeah, I'm not going to get P4 in... in <laughs> I'm not going to get P4 in the qualifying. But yeah, I will... I will use the racing line for qualifying. And just, like, make sure I memorize every single breaking point, And then I'll do the race without it. So yeah, let's just collect our resource points. Let's get back to the motorhome and uh, let's see how many do we have. We have just over, sorry, just under 500 points. So it's not enough to get anything going just yet, but that's fine. I'm understeering just a little bit. Yeah, uh, I am. Uh, I think I'll I'll have to increase slightly the brake pressure. Um, so yeah, uh, qualify eight or better is our target. So let's see how we, how. If we can get that bonus target, because we need the resource points. We still want to improve. Our new rival is Lance Stroll, by the way. Um, and yeah, we, I'm, I'm still working on that, on those two power unit upgrades. And yeah, just waiting for resource points so I can complete the tree. On, uh, not complete the tree, but get every uh, engine power upgrade I can get. So I can start moving to the aerodynamics and the chassis. Uh, no one improved their performance for this race. So as you guys can see through the graphic, no one brought any upgrades uh, for this race. So, yeah, let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. We got 7th at Australia last time out. Uh, hopefully we can improve on that. Uh, let's get going for the qualifying session for uh, this Bahrain Grand Prix. Let's see how it goes. You did crash at France. <laughs> had to be Grosjean. <laughs> it had to be Grosjean. Oh well. The cars are ready, the drivers are ready. We hope you're ready as qualifying is about to begin here in Bahrain. I was looking at some highlights of previous races here, and the one thing that really stood out to me was the run down to turn one. 
It's not an easy one to navigate as everyone is scrapping to get into their first. We've seen in the past how tricky the first corner is. It's not an issue in practice in qualifying, but if you throw a lot of highly competitive drivers at it all at once, you've got an entirely different situation. The smarter drivers will be able to temper their approach and stay out of trouble, but it doesn't mean it's easy. I would recommend fan attack. I don't know if you can get those, but if you could, I would recommend that. I never used Logitech, so I don't know if those are good or bad. But yeah, if you could go, go fan attack. Um, so yeah, I have to change something in the setup. So let me just go to the brakes and get it to 88. Um, and yeah, we're just going to get out there. How many, how many laps of fuel do I have? Let me check real quick. I would like a couple more laps. And let's just get out there. When you're ready, let's go. Let's go. Are they again? I never used the Logitech, so I have no idea, man. Okay, so yeah, hopefully we can pull off a Gasly. Just letting Bottas through, that there's really not much of a point. I mean, I could try to follow him and get Slipstream and all that for my flank lap, but... This isn't really my actual flying lap. I'm not. I'm not going to give it beans, really. Twenty eighteen Gasly or twenty nineteen Gasly? Twenty eighteen. Because <laughs> I'm in a Toro Rosso. Hey, uh, Bato, welcome to the live stream. How are you doing? Uh, yeah, I never used any Logitech. If you have, if you have it and you are happy with it, that's great. It's really bad to climb that curb like that. That's the curb. Yep, I knew it. Not in the wall. Please. Oh, what the hell? How did I end up on this side of the track? <laughs> what? Just taking a cool shot at my helmet that I really like. But, um... If we had a, a, a better camera, that would be nice. Like, I went there and I, I, like, I was like, okay, not to the wall, please. So I just ended up on this side. <laughs> Oh, Contol means handsome. Oh, okay. Well, uh, uh thanks. Turned off the lap counters, it's on the stream. Yes, it is. 
I don't really look at it, but it's whatever, really. I might take off all HUD uh, uh, elements one one time. Wow. Yeah, I'm really bad at this track. I honestly don't really know why. I think it's because of the like these low speed corners. Maybe I just suck at them. So yeah, let's just recover on fuel, recover our uh, ERS. And after that we'll put on another flying lap. Well, I'm faster than Norris at the moment, but I'm getting beaten by my teammate. Really going to try and focus and just try to do like the best lap I can. Still P7, even though more cars have crossed over the line, so we are not that bad. Okay, so improved up to P7. Okay, that is a good lap. Uh, was I going to do Bahrain last night? I was, but my wheel decided to not work properly. Okay, so let's get to the pits and let's prepare ourselves for our last run late in the session. Hey FTM Rocker, sorry about that, I missed your message, but yeah man, welcome to the livestream, what are you doing? Bring it in. Okay, we've gotten knocked down to P9, but at least we are still in the top 10, I'm happy with that. Hey Pimon, what's up man? Do I like Mamek? I don't know what Mamek is, man.
Not sure where to break for this um, for this entry though. Not sure like where exactly to break. We're going to get that fixed though. Hopefully. <laughs> Am I going to do China tonight or leave it until another day? I want to do China tonight. Let's see if my will collaborates. If let's see if it tries to kill itself during the race or not. <laughs> Ace Rune, welcome to the live stream. What are you doing, man? Uh, okay, so brand new tires, and I'm going to get less fuel. And yeah, as you guys can see, currently ninth place, one second off Paul, who's Pierre Gasly, despite only having one uh, f fastest sector out of the three. But yeah, very close between Hamilton and Gasly. Our best lap so far is a one minute twenty-seven point one. Oh, okay, Pimo. Okay, okay. Um, but yeah, let's see where Albany is. Albany is P11. So yeah, we aren't... Yeah, I think this is good difficulty for this track. We aren't far apart, really. So yeah, I think this is good for, for this track. Um, so, oh, you are on qualifying at, uh, at uh, Australia? Well, let's see how that goes. Um, yeah, let's just fast forward a little bit. Let me just... just that words see the timing okay everyone's in the garage i don't want to give them like fast forward flying laps because those can be kind of bs so let's just follow so bottas is in the garage let me get back and see who's out there no bottas is going on a flying lap what the hell okay oh you have heavy rain on qualifying i really do like uh, driving in austria in the rain it's just a track I have fun on in uh, in the rain. I really like it. And yeah, let's see how Bottas goes. Just 110 meters away from the corner, clipping the apex. Nice and a clean. It goes up uh, through the gears uh, as he is looking for the 100 meter marker board at his left hand side. Let's see how he gets. He doesn't mount the curve, so he's avoiding that one. For uh, this uh, turn of four, turns five and six, he has to slow down for it. Mounts the curb a bit to help rotation. Try to avoid the curb on the exit of turn seven, uh, turn eight, I think this is. Smooth exit, again, from Valtteri. And now turns nine and ten, this is always a tricky braking zone. It didn't even... Ooh, uh, the, the tires didn't even complain, so that was very good from Valtteri there. He goes through the second DRS zone, looking for turn number 11. Nice, and uh, just using the entire width of the track from M, so just to maximize speed, look for the Rolex sign break a bit earlier than that. And that's turn number 13 for you, just a bit of a rundown. I don't... is, is this a DRS zone? I think it was a DRS zone this season, wasn't it? Um... And yeah, just turn 14, still clean, and he's going to cross over the line with the 126.4, which is not an improvement on him. Which is not an improvement for him, so that's unfortunate. Uh, let's see Leclerc, he's on his outlap. Uh, we can, he's on his outlap, but he's still getting out of the pit, so no, I'm not going to follow him. Uh, let's see Verstappen. Let's see how he does. 27.7 in his first sector. He's about to finish the second sector. 37.1. Is he coming into the pits? It doesn't seem like the quickest. His ERS bar, as you guys can see, is almost depleted. And he's going to cross over the line. For fourth place, so he improves and jumps the bus in Vettel. Yeah, the Ferraris aren't really getting uh, We've been moved down into too P9. good. Where is Alban? 
Uh, Alban is in turn 3. Yeah, we are going to have to get out there uh, ourselves soon. Do I like the F1 intro? I do like it. I do like it. But yeah, it's going to be soon until we have to get out there. So... Let's do this. Checks complete. All personnel be aware. We have a car leaving. Oh, what's that? Is that the Mercedes in front of me? I think it is. Yep. That's Valtteri. And there we go, just breaking my arm into turn one, as you do. <laughs> Wait, what? Just trying to make it. No, I'm sorry, man. I'm not going to say like words I don't know. That's a good way to have people <laughs> claiming your head. Um. Okay, boys, let's do this. Turning too early. Okay, P8. Not bad at all. We improved by one. But yeah, that last corner I turned in too early and just the curb made me understeer. Oh well. The is all set then for the race tomorrow. But before we go, let's quickly remind ourselves of our top three. Who are Gasly, Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas. The grid is set then, so that just leaves the race itself. Join us tomorrow, where we'll be live with all the action. And until then, it's goodbye. Okay, so yeah, we have Pierre Gasly on pole, 74 thousandths of a setting, separating him from Hamilton as Bottas. Look at that! What is it? Eight? Yeah, it's eight thousandths of a second separating both Mercedes. Hey, and welcome to the live stream. How are you doing, man? But uh, okay, I guess we are ready with that, and let's let's get going for for the race. Let's before that get back to the motorhome. I'm just going to. I like milk. I don't actually like milk, honestly. So yeah. Uh, oh, 
Okay, so yeah, we are leading the rivalry against Stroll and we are expanding our lead against Alban, which is great. Let's collect our resource points, see how many we have uh, from this qualifying session. Did I get the... I, I got the target, didn't I? The extra target was to get 8th place, right? I think I'm right on that. Well done. That was a good qualifying performance. I was right on that, right? Uh, team goal qualify eight or better. Yeah, we we got it bang on. So okay, that's great. Uh, and yeah, everything is ready. So let's just get going for the race. Let's see how it goes. Well, thanks. <laughs> the curtain rises once more then on the desert stage of Sakir as the players take their places for the opening act will they enthrall us like they did in 2014 with that titanic battle between Nico Rosberg and Lewis Hamilton well we'll find out shortly as we get underway here in Bahrain there's no shortage of passing opportunities around the 3.36 miles of the Bahrain International Circuit, with the best at turn one, of course, and then another soon into turn four. 15 corners here, six to the left and nine to the right, and we could see one or two flat spots into the tight left-hander of turn 10. Okay, looks like, well, then, yeah, I was going to say it looks like Ant just became shy. Let's take a look at how the cars line up. A fantastic effort from Pierre Gasly yesterday puts him on pole, and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Verstappen, Sebastian Vettel, and Leclerc, Hulkenberg, the captain, Perez, and Daniel Ricciardo, Stroll, Sainz, Kimi Raikkonen, and Hartley, Magnussen, Grosjean, Marcus Ericsson and Fernando Alonso, Van Dorn and Sergei Sorotkin rounds off the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. Yeah, let's try to get another top 10 finish. I'm going with the two stopper, of course, super soft to uh, two soft stints. Um, Carter, how much? Not really what I wanted. Uh, what I want is the fuel. So it's 57 laps. I'm going to get plus one. And I'm going to disable the, the racing line. Hopefully I can eat corners still. Let's go for it. Okay, so and start bringing the car up to temperature, please. Get some load into the tires and work the brakes. We want them nice and warm by the end of the lap. All of our gears work, which is great. Now let's see if we can keep our stuff nice and warm. Force India surprisingly aren't uh, like in the top six because at least from the graphic they have uh, they have a better car than the Ferraris. Radar is clear. Weather is looking good for now. Like I have I have a Ferrari a uh, Ferrari a Renault in front of me. Then it's a Force India a Renault and another Force India, but. I was expecting the Force Indias to be quicker than me and then both Renaults and maybe be splitting the, the Ferraris. And it's Leclerc behind Vettel.
Okay, so we got no pilot just to cover. We are going to get ready for our race. Let's do this. If we could overtake both Ferraris, it would be nice. Because we all know how the AI breaks very early. I guess it's all going to be uh, about how good of a start we have. The rest of the grid is forming up. Be patient. We usually have good traction on starts. I'm usually good on the starts, but let's see. Okay, got it. That's one hell of a good start. Okay, so yeah, of course, Gasly is already pulling away, like a freaking rocket ship. Hey, Benny, what's up, man? How are you doing? Welcome to the live stream. Yeah, I'm guessing I am having understeer now, because how heavy the car is on fuel. And of course, I don't really have the pace for those guys, but Bottas is battling with Verstappen and Vettel. Uh, looks like Leclerc got jumped by one of the Renaults. So let's see how it goes. Yeah, we have a couple car lengths on Bottas, which is great. If those two keep on battling and losing time to us, this is amazing. What? What the hell? I even went on the bricks before the 100 meter board. I'm not on rich mix, I'm not pushing as if it was qualifying. What the hell? I guess the car is heavier, so it takes longer to stop, but still. Bottas is starting to bridge the gap to me. The second Ferrari also got past the Renault already. I have to bring it down to fourth because of the understeer. Don't touch that inside curb unless you want to be in the wall. But yeah, come at me, man. It, uh, oh yeah, it doesn't have DRS yet. Well, breaking on the curb never helps. I just screwed up. Again. I, I thought I was good at racing games. <laughs> I think I have to be a bit more aggressive with my downshifts. Into turn one. At least I haven't gone full on off track in before I just lose the rear out of turn 8 and just crash.
Yeah, what I have to work on is my consistency, really. What's happening will have the arrest on me. I want to know if I'm going to get the arrest on Bottas. That would be nice. Okay, that time we nailed it. Uh, hey, Archibald, what's up, man? How are you doing? Who, who will win the Chinese Grand Prix? It depends on who gets a good start. Uh, for me, it will be one of the Mercedes winning the race. Uh, depends who gets away. Uh, if 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 Hamilton overtakes Bottas, uh, Bottas will have to deal with the Ferraris, so he won't be able to 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 attack Hamilton. I'm not saying that he's going to be the wingman. I'm saying that the Ferraris are quick enough to bother the second of the McLarens. And if you are battling with the Ferraris, you won't be able to keep up with the guy in front. Oh, Bottas has an issue. But, um, yeah, if Bottas gets P1 uh, or maintains P1 out of the first corners, um, Hamilton will have to deal with the Ferraris. And by battling the Ferraris, he won't be able to keep up with Bottas. That, that's my. That's what I think will happen. So for me, whoever comes out, oh, of course, if there aren't any yellow flags or stuff like that. By the way, cause welcome to the live stream. How are you doing, man? But um, but yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. Like whoever gets uh, away from the first couple of corners will win the race. Okay, so Bottas just... Oh, wow, Bottas still with issues, got past the, the Red Bull. Okay. Verstappen dropped down to P6. So he got re-overtaken by Bottas. And overtaken by one of the Ferraris. That's bad. Driver behind. This is great. Bottas has a mechanical problem, but he's still in P in P3 uh, before. Well, Vettel just overtook him. Um, I don't really support any drivers or any teams, really. Like I, I'm not. I don't consider myself a fan of anyone. Uh, I mean, my favorite driver is either Verstappen or Leclerc, but I don't cheer for them. A thing is uh, having a, a driver that you like the most. Another thing is just supporting them and cheering for them. I don't care who finishes first or who finishes last. Like, for me, if the race is good, I'm happy. Uh, I just want to see a good race. That's neutral. Um, I just want to see a good race. I don't really care about who wins or who comes in what position. Bottas is really holding everyone up. I'm really missing every single corner. Turn! At least we are being able to like recover the RS. We aren't losing the RS just by driving like we were in Australia. Oh, 
Of course the Ferraris are going to catch up. Uh, hey, Speed Killer, what's up, man? Copy that. Why the hell would I make a pit stop at lap 7? Yeah, I saw the pictures. There was a bit of chaos. <laughs> How did the Costa do? That's all I want to know. I think I'm turning in too early, so I get wide on the exit. Where the hell is Bottas? It just disappeared. Unless he went into the pits. Oh boy, that's off track. Evans won? Yeah, that would be his first win. Yeah, the Evans is one of those guys that I also know from like GP3. It's Mitch Evans, right? Like, I know those guys from the time I was following uh, Felix da Costa in GP3. Ah, I was trying to break to turn in later. But, uh, yeah, that time it was too late. Turn. Thank you. My pedal shifters are behaving nicely so far. <laughs> oh, we have yellow flags. Did someone get a puncture? Safety car. Can you go down, Delta, please? Please? Thank you. I guess someone got a puncture or spun. VSE ending, we're going green. Maintain positive delta until the green flags. Okay, gap to leader, 15.8 seconds. I tried to time it to get a good run out of the last corner, but I still lost a couple tenths. Oh boy! The game is trying to recruit me to the mission spin now, team. I guess Vettel needs a teammate. <laughs> So I guess uh, uh, Vettel will just overtake me now. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the softs. If not now, it will be next lap. Mm. 
Who's leading right now? Uh, Gasly. Gasly got pulled. You are in Austria and Bottas also had a problem there. <laughs> F for Bottas. <laughs> Poor Bottas, man. The gap to the car ahead is 10.9 seconds. Yeah, I have to be prepared for that uh, oversteer through turn 12. The car is going to start trying to kill me now. Vettel didn't really have a go at me, which is a bit surprising. Yeah, mode to overtake, we have to push. Push for what? Hamilton is already 11 seconds away. I think I'm going to get lapped this race. Oh boy. Yeah, that L surprisingly. I mean, surprisingly to me, maybe not for you guys. Oh boy, the rears. When do I have to pit? Lap 12. Oh yeah, <laughs> those tires are quite demolished. Come on, Sebi. Come hot me. Okay, oh, Bottas is out. Got a car issue. It looks like well, there you have it. The car finally gave up on him. Yeah, Jeff sometimes is drunk, Adam. Don't, don't, don't really listen to him. So we have Vettel and then it's Verstappen behind me. I wonder where the hell is Charles Leclerc. Maybe he collided with Bottas or something. Because Charles Leclerc was supposed to be in P6. But he's nowhere. He's not even in the top 10. So he's either pitting early and he's going to do a super, super, super soft strategy. Uh... Maybe he's beating early for a, a three-stop strategy, or... Or he crashed, I don't know. Maybe it was him causing that safety car, that virtual safety car. I'm supposed to beat now, right? Let's turn up the ERS deployment and burn some of this energy. Wanna go with? Well... Bon appetit! <laughs> Boy! <laughs> oh, Vitel is going to jump me, because that's how stuff goes. Exit. Oh, actually not. Okay, and they actually gained on him. Wow. The Ferrari mechanics really bottled it. Uh, words. Really bottled it. And there goes Charles. Yeah, Charles is on a triple super soft strategy. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, Adam, see you in a bit. Okay, so I'm not going to have as much traction and as much cornering ability since these tires are harder. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how quickly can Leclerc overtake that Haas. So I can myself close in on him. If, if uh, that Haas could uh, block Leclerc, that would be nice. But no, Leclerc has DRS and is already side by side with him. And the maneuver is done. I just increased the front wing angle by one uh, in that pit stop to try to get a bit more cornering ability on harder tires. But uh, hmm, let's see how that, how that goes. Okay, so Alban is in the pits. Vettel is coming for me as well, I suppose. Fuel is looking really good. You're managing it well. I had to give him space. I managed to fend him off though. Look at the gap Leclerc has already pulled on Magnussen. Come on, K-Mag. Oh, well. It was just too slow. I, cu I couldn't afford to wait for him to give me the RS. As Verstappen comes out of the pits ahead of me. So yeah, the AI is very, very quick. Okay, Vettel, just get held up by K-Mag for a bit. I appreciate it. They're still side by side. They are going to lose time to each other. That's a bit sideways, but works. <laughs> but yeah, Verstappen is also on a second stint on uh, Super Soft, so that's a bit weird. Magnussen is still ahead of Vettel, wow! <laughs> okay. Well, th this is great for me. As my rival Lance Stroll is just coming out of the pits. And there's a McLaren in front of Leclerc and of Verstappen that still has to pit. So after everything settles down, I'll be P5. I got jumped by Verstappen and, um, and Leclerc, but it looks like they are on alternate strategies, so... Not really bothered.
get in. That is a very good tur turn 13. I'm even improving on my personal best lap time. And look at the distance Vettel already gained. <laughs> As it was signs, the McLaren that was missing. So he's in the pits now. And yeah, at the moment I'm comfortable, the car is slightly under steering. But uh, if I use the curbs to try and unsettle slightly the car, we'll be able to make it turn in. Turned in slightly too late, yeah, just threw in really that corner in terms of like the speed that you can carry through it. Too late there as well, that's the curb that might spin me. Okay, we managed to get away with it. Am I supposed to pit? Lap 34. Okay. So I'm supposed to do what? 20 laps? 21 laps of these tires? No, the RS, of course. I can just see that Ferrari battling Verstappen in the distance. As I was approaching turn 1. But yeah, those guys might lose a bit of time battling each other, but um, I'm not going to get to them unless they go on a battle like lap after lap after lap. Besides, Leclerc has to pit soon. I think Verstappen has better tires than the Monegasque. I keep on missing this turn 8. <laughs> Oh, that was... Maybe I should bring it down to first gear. More often. Bring it in. That's... Okay. Ah. And yeah, despite doing personal best laps, Vettel is right on my gearbox now. Okay, so we managed to defend Vettel. I'm really surprised that we are managing to defend from Vettel. Verstappen finally overtook Leclerc, as of course Leclerc's tires are older. Oh boy. That corner 8 for me is a tough one for me to break uh, for, because I don't really have much of a reference. It's, I'm always breaking based on feel around that corner. So my consistency through there isn't the greatest. Or maybe it's the best because I'm consistently missing the apex from there. So maybe I'm just that consistent. <laughs> maybe, maybe I have good consistency because I'm always missing the apex. The gap to the car ahead is 
is 5.6 seconds. At least I'm managing my tires well, like, what is it? Seven laps after I pit stopped, I'm still pulling faster lap times. I'm not blazing the word and killing all of the tires. Oh, overspeed! I'm sorry about that, I missed the donation alert. But uh, yeah, man, thank you for the hero. Here's some fan boost for you. Well, thanks a lot, man. I need some fan boost against this freaking Ferrari. I will need some fan boost, but yeah, man, thanks a lot for the for the hero. Did the donation sound not play, or did I not pay attention to it? Like, what the hell? Because I have a donation sound. Did it decide to not play? I don't know. But yeah, if I didn't look at my, like, notifications, I wouldn't notice that. But yeah, man, Overspeed, thanks a lot for the hero. Well, it's gonna help me uh, to buy F1 2019. Ah, uh, there goes the donation sound. It was just very low. Uh, Ray Ray, the two euro donation. Thanks a lot, man. Oh my god, I just went wide. But yeah, man, thanks a lot. Yeah, maybe the donation sound is just too uh, low. At least for me it was. I don't know about for you guys. I'll, I will have to increase that one. In the future. I'm gonna get him. Can I get him? I'm gonna first stop on it. I first stop on it. I did better than first stop on. I didn't touch him. I don't care. I'm better than first stop on confirmed. Oh, I did touch him. <laughs> Sorry about that. But he didn't DNF. I'm better than first stop on confirmed. I don't care. That's the curb of that. By the way, I don't really like dive bomb people that often. <laughs> I'm just having fun battling Vettel. Oh boy, that was way too early. But yeah, guys, thank you for the donations. That's what happens when you go to overtake mode to that corner. My god. As Leclerc goes into the pits for his third set of super softs, I think. Climbed the curb a little bit. That's not useful. Because then you can put the throttle down as early as you want. Because if you put the throttle down while your wheels are over that curb, you are just going to lose the rear. Thank you very much. So yeah, both me and Leclerc have only one pit stop to make. Uh, so let's see how it goes. Cause yeah, like for him, for his strategy to work, he needs to not be caught up in traffic. 
so you can put up those faster laps in the super softs. Verstappen is also on a weird strategy because he pit stopped even later than me at the end of his first stint, but he's back on super softs. So is he trying to stretch his super softs to last as long as my softs are lasting right now? Or what's going on? I'm, I'm rather confused by uh, Verstappen's strategy. The Renaults are catching up. I have 11 laps to go. Turn in. Okay, yeah, I'm really like down, going down to first gear and then putting on the throttle and short shifting to second. Uh, it's really helping me with my speed through that corner. At least compared to my previous laps, I can see through the delta, it's quicker. I will do that next lap, because I don't think Vettel will challenge me for position in this one. I'm going to make it rich, uh, or high. Okay, it will challenge me. You almost killed me there. I guess I didn't leave enough room, but I thought I thought I was going to clear him. I was expecting the arrow to get uh, white again, and it never got white, so that's why we made contact. Because I went intentionally earlier on the throttle and chart shifting to try to get the power down earlier. But uh, yeah, since I did that, I was expecting to be able to get a bit of a jump on Vettel. But uh, no, it was a, it was it was quick enough on the traction as well. That was a bad lane. Or a bad line. Uh, I turned in way too early there. Gasly's out in front. Yeah, Gasly has been out in front since lap one, so that's not really a surprise, is it? I can't be working the rear tires too much. Okay, so yeah, let's see our tires. They aren't too bad, uh, considering we've done, what, 13 laps on them? I've been relatively easy on them. Which I'm satisfied with. And I have just a slight surplus of fuel, but I can't really go on rich mix. Because like just going on overtake like this uh, is going to help me 
well, not going to help me, but it's going to consume more fuel. Especially when I go, like, on the revs at the exit of corners. This has been, like, the first time in about five laps where I got out of turn one without Vettel side by side with me. Which helps the lap times. Hey Keegan, welcome to the live stream. How are you doing, man? The gap to the car ahead is eighteen. That was uh three seconds. Hey, welcome back. Why do I use the upshift sound to help me upshift in the perfect zone? I don't know, I just found it useful. Will he spin? No, he won't. Oh, he went so slow there. I was going to switch back on him through the S's, but uh, it was so slow. I couldn't get back on him. Look at that, almost two seconds lost that lap. We already have the, the Ferraris and the Force Indias on our ass. Hey, welcome back, LGS. But yeah, Ray Ray, I just found I just found it useful. I know, like, dude, Gasly has, like, a one-minute lead on me by now, probably. <laughs> like... I don't care about who's leading the race. <laughs> yeah, right, Willy really Spin? If I, if I go around the outside, Willy really Spin. I guess that will be a feature only of the F1 2019, like the official game, not in this mod. But, uh, but yeah. By the way, any Vettel fans, I'm not like <laughs> making fun of him. It, it's just funny that he's been doing all those mistakes. I uh, is a great driver. I don't, yeah. It doesn't work, so maybe change it to the Streamlabs one? God damn it. Okay, I will change it to the Streamlabs one later. I don't know why it doesn't work, though. That's weird. Here it comes.
They need to add sorry for the bad word? What do you mean by that? You mean as an option to the radio or what? Like this before at the moment, I think it's my best result ever in this game, in this track. So it's 5 laps until we have to pit, and at the moment I'm not really having issues with the rear end at turn 12. Which is again, absolutely amazing. I was having issues with it in like the last couple laps of the super soft stints. Let's see how it goes in about the last 3 laps of the soft stints. Let's see how it goes. But yeah, we have Leclerc, as you guys can see on the minimap, we have Leclerc approaching this train, if I can call it that. Vettel is getting challenged by Nico Hulkenberg. Oh my god, what's going on? The Ferraris really suck this season. Well, I think it works, but it's just your paper one. I think the Streamlabs one is better because it shows up on stream. And you can see it immediately. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm only getting notifications for the Streamlabs one. I will change it after this live stream. Turns out I can do a Gasly. Yeah, it turns out I can do a Gasly, isn't it? He got fifth, didn't he, though? But the grip is going to start falling away. Okay. Yeah. Vettel is really losing out on it. He already lost out to Perez as well. He probably got hung out to drive by Ulkenberg and Perez took advantage. Oh, he got Ford. Okay, so it's going to be hard defending from this guy. Oh my god, how is Wilkenberg quick all of a sudden? What the hell? And yeah, he does have DRS. Just to kick it in. Almost lost the rear through there as I put it down to first gear. Yeah, if he got for I'm going to try to get Ford. I'm not really quick through this one because I don't want to understeer and touch the outside curbs. Because those can get me turned around. Okay, here comes Nico. So Verstappen is on super. Uh, Verstappen is on softs again. Is he going to take them to the end? I don't know. He's on a bit of a weird strategy. To pit at the end of lap 34. Yeah, my tires are starting to complain now when I go on the throttle. They are really not enjoying my inputs at the moment. <laughs> oh, it's going to be fun. Boy. 
Oh, I was in second. I thought was, I was in first. I should have gone to first there. Sorry LGS, that was a bit of not English. Yeah, they can me, you do a Vettel. I'm sorry, I don't know what you mean by that. Oh really, Ray Ray? I mean, I've always been known to be good on the tires. Like when I was winning championships uh, back in the other racing league. I, I was always good on the tires, so maybe that's it. But then again, you are using the pad, so maybe that's why you were getting more tire wear. Okay, we got a better exit there than Nico. Don't touch that inside curb, Ruben. What are you doing? I'm trying to kill myself. Yeah, Verstappen has fresh tires, so that fast slap is not surprising. In this lab. In this lab. I look at Tulkenberg and because his front wing is black, it looks like he doesn't have a front wing. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to pit stop at the end of this lap. This needs to be a good lap. Ah, uh, that was a bad turn 10. Vettel, that's either Vettel or Claire. One of one of the Ferrari scored up. Okay, so we made it to the pits nicely. Vettel is following me. Yeah, my, uh, me and Vettel, we are on the same strategy. Uh, Leclerc has to pit again. 2.2 second pit stop, so even quicker than our first one. I think our first one was 1.3, uh, 2.3 rather. Grosjean goes by. Look after these tires now. We want to finish the race on this car. Oh, getting a Giovinazzi. Oh boy, I almost pulled off. What was it? A signs on Stroll a couple seasons ago? Almost killed him there. Oh, and uh, Vettel got um, uh, behind uh, Kubica and signs. Kubit signs in pin 13, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, they are not the worst team anymore. <laughs> 
So, uh, 34 to 57, it's what? 23 laps? We made 21 in the previous stint. So, the last 3 laps on this stint are going to be a bit more tricky uh, than the laps in the previous stint. But then again, we have a lighter car, so the tires might degrade slower because of the lighter car. I guess we are going to find out. Bring it in. Okay, so it's Grosjean in the pits, it's uh, Alban, it's Raikkonen, and it's Stroll, I believe. Yep. So we're up to P7. And yeah, Vettel is really getting left behind. Uh, Am uh, not Hamilton. Um, Ulkenberg and Leclerc. I don't know, like, if they are going to battle. I don't know for how long they are going to battle. Uh, but if they lose time to each other, it would be nice. Because if they come out of the pit still ahead of me, then it's done, because they have fresher tires. Hopefully I can get the RS off of Geo. Ah, he goes into the pits and he doesn't give me the RS. Oh, god damn it. That's a bit of a shame. Hulkenberg is out of the pits ahead of me. So, there it goes. Let's see if I can catch up to him. Hey Irvine, welcome back! It would be really cool to catch Hulkenberg, but he seems quicker than me at the moment. He has at least like one or two laps fresher tires. Like, Hulkenberg's speed really came out of nowhere. It was multiple seconds behind myself and Vettel. Then me and Vettel had a bit of a squabble and they caught up, but Wulkenberg just picked up some speed. I don't know where that came from, but... Yeah, looks like I think we are going to get P5, uh, unless Leclerc also comes out of the pizza ahead of me, which is not out of the realm of possibility. Have I done a pit stop yet? Yes, I pitted at lap uh, 13 and lap 34. I'm doing on a super soft, soft, soft strategy. And yeah, Ulkumber is just pulling away. I can't really answer his pace.
But yeah, still P60 is quite nice. Let's see though. Everything can happen. We can get a safety car. <laughs> like, imagine if a safety car comes up like 10 laps from now and I just bolt on a set of super softs. Just in case. <laughs> I could be in 7th, but Bottas retired, so at least I'm in 6th, <laughs> it could be worse. Bring it, thank you. And my paddle shifter has been behaving beautifully so far. This is a track where I downshift quite aggressively, so... Raikkonen is coming up. Raikkonen just overtook uh, Perez as Lance Stroll is completing the top 10. That's my rival, the Canadian. That's Leclerc. We got him! Nice. Okay, I defended from Vettel, I can't defend from Leclerc. He has like, what, five laps, six laps fresher tires though. <laughs> it's going to be fun defending from him. At least we have a bit of a reserve of fuel. Turn. Come, Charles. Please blow your engine up. Come on. Oh, that's what you want? Okay. Bloody bastard. <laughs> Gonna force him to the inside. I told you it was going to be fun. Whew. It was. Yeah, I, I really enjoy battling the AI, like when they are not dumb and we can just race side by side. It's great, man, but sometimes they just become so dumb. Yeah, there he goes. Ah, 
come on. At least give me room. Oh, wow. God damn it! Whew. They was so slow through that. Did you guys see that? I almost went into the back of him. What time my thoughts on Formula E? I'll read that in a second, man. Right now, <laughs> it, it's a bit tough. Uh, what time my thoughts of Formula E? Seven races gone now, seven different winners from seven different teams in seven different pole sitters. Um, I mean, I guess that's been great, but from like Formula E is broadcasted by Eurosports, at least here in Portugal. I haven't seen great races, man. Like, I don't like the fact that it's all street circuits. If, if people enjoy it, they enjoy it, and it's great that they enjoy it. I, I just... I don't know, man. I just see everyone on single file, and, like, the overtakes that happen, it's because of crashes. You can take slipstream, I can also take slipstream. I can't see my breaking board, but that's another conversation. I bottled it, god damn it. Yeah, I just couldn't see my breaking board. Yeah, I think it's because of circuit design, like, I don't, it's not really, I will reformulate, it's not really that uh, it's street circuits, because the street circuits, like, the street circuit by itself is not a problem, the fact is that it's too narrow, like, I, I don't see many races where they can just go side by side and overtake people without bumping and someone crashing out, you know, like, you either, you either, the overtakes I see is because someone like just outbreaks someone into an airpin or because someone bumps someone into an airpin and the guy that gets bumped either crashes out or or goes wide because he got pushed. I might be wrong, but when I happen to watch Formula E, that, that's what I see. So no, I'm not really a fan. And like the drivers... It's not because they didn't make it in F1 that they are inferior drivers. Let's not forget, Verline is the youngest ever DTM winner. Or the, the youngest ever DTM champion. Uh, but he was in a freaking Sauber and a freaking manner. Does that mean he's a bad driver? No, it means he had a bad car. Uh, like, Vern was also doing well when he got sacked uh, from Toro Rosso. Like, I remember people contesting the decision to sack Vern because he was doing well at that point considering he was in a Toro Rosso. Van Dorn, if you guys go check like every single race and how far apart he was from Alonso, like of course he wasn't getting the results but in terms of, of positions or in terms of time uh, it wasn't all that bad. Like you compare him to his other teammates and Van Dorn wasn't wasn't doing badly at all. Our gap to the car in front is 1.8 seconds. You think that the attack mode is a good idea? Uh, I think it, I think it's a good idea. It's just a bit weirdly implemented. I don't really understand much of it. It's just that, like, I saw a race where someone, I think it was Degrassi maybe, he was trying to get the, the attack zone, 
but he like missed three times. So for me, like the 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 zone is too narrow. Because for me, it wasn't really like off the, the line, but it wasn't getting the attack mode. I don't know if that ended up being an issue with the car, or if it was because he was actually missing it. So if it was because he was actually missing it, for me, it's a bit of a too narrow of a zone. And with all this, I'm, I've lost massive amounts of time, but whatever. You don't like the fan boosting the yeah, so don't really like it. It's a bit um, it's a bit of a popularity contest. I mean, not a bit, it's just a popularity contest, really. Uh, that means like the most popular guy keeps on winning and keeps on being popular. Like what? These guys Oh, that Stroll was side by side with me. I thought it was Perez. I, I thought it was like Perez. I thought was Stroll. God damn it! I lost a lot to him because of that. Renault spun? Do you mean in my race? Ricciardo spun? I didn't notice that. Yeah, it was on the outside of a 90 degree corner. So it, it was kind of weird. Renault was in, on the inside and he spun. Oh, so he had contact with Stroll. God damn it, that's my rival and he's going to pull away as well. Okay, I like how uh, I was defending from a Ferrari the entire race and now the Force Indias blasts through me. Well, thank you for the push. Yeah, I really becomes much stronger late in the race. Dude, come on. I'm going to end what you mean. On these tires? Yes, I'm going to end on these tires. Okay, gap ahead is 2.8 seconds. Uh, Perez is battling, is that Alban? I guess it is Alban, because both Red Bulls are in front of me. Oh, safety car would be nice, man, just to spice things up. Yeah, Alban in P9. We might be able to get the two cars in a point spin position. Paris is coming back at Alban, though. Turned in. Thank you. Let's use some of this energy. 
Did Alban score any points last season? I think he did. I don't remember. I can check that after this race is done, real quick. But I do think Alban scored a couple points. But yeah, man, I feel like everyone that's behind me is quicker, but not really that much quicker. But as soon as they overtake me, they become like a second quicker than me. This is so weird, man. It's like Vettel is still behind me. Vettel is behind the, the Force India. Vettel is behind Perez. But somehow, Stroll is pulling away like a second per lap. That's the weird part in all of this. China today as well? Uh, yeah, if my if my paddle shifters behave until the end, I will make sh I will do China. Okay, so what is it? Seven, eight laps to go. Perez is coming back at Alex. Let's see how those two come out of it. Driver in front. Stroll is ahead of you. Gap to car in front is 4.7 seconds. You're falling back by around 1.2 seconds a lap. They're on old softs. Their tires are 14 laps old. The time last lap was a 1 minute 30.7. Hey Mackindo, welcome to the live stream. What are you doing, man? Yeah, it looks like Perez is still battling Alban and I've been able to pull away. The gap behind us is 3.5 seconds. Oh boy, <laughs> the rear is starting to get a bit more alive in the last couple laps. Maybe because I pushed the tires a bit more distinct because I've been battling.
Do I think? Oh my god. Uh, do I think I can already win the the, uh, the World Driver Championship? I think definitely next season. Uh, this season we might have a shot at it. Uh, depends on how quickly we can improve the car. Oh boy. So slow to upgrade in 2017, yeah, but this is not in the 2017, so... Oh, Grosjean is out of the race, that's unfortunate for him. Could we get a safety car? <laughs> You just started a career with Haas? Well, uh, how is it going? Oh, who's that? Oh, this is Gasly lapping me. Hey, we only have three laps to go then. Yeah, 2018 is too fast to upgrade, in my opinion. Yes, I agree. Ah, don't worry, Adam. No need to apologize from uh, to apologize from that. But yeah, Leclerc, uh, Raikkonen, uh, Stroll, and Ulkenberg overtook me since my pit stop. They just became much faster. Hey, uh, no, no. Welcome to the live stream. What are you doing? When will I stream again? I will live stream today. Yes. Uh, after this live stream, I'll just have like a 20 minute break because I'm going to have dinner. And then I'm going to live stream again. Like, I guess you guys are going to stay up to watch the Chinese Grand Prix, right? Or are you guys going to bed? Uh, or are you guys going to bed and then waking up for the race? Because I think I'll stay up. Who cooks the food for me? Uh, no one. I mean, I live with my grandparents, but um, most times I do the cooking. Puzzly just went for a faster slap, okay. Perez is one second behind me. So he pulled away from the train that was behind him. I don't know what happened to Alex Albon. Oh, he's in P10. The race is at 9am for you? Yeah, my race, uh, the race for me is 7am. 
I could go to bed, but I don't know, man. I have stuff to do. I'm going to watch some more high socky because uh, of the playoffs. Uh, so I'm, I think I'm going to watch like something like Toronto versus Boston or something. So for me, I will also like edit some videos and stuff, so it will be fine. I have only not completed, I was in season 6 in my previous career mode. Just that I had to stop. What the hell is Perez doing gaining one second on me and on, on wow. Oh he can and he can break that later. Okay. Oh I really got loose there. Whew. Yeah, I gave him a bump because I lost the rear. Sorry about that, Sergio. Yeah, I'm also excited for F1 2019. Again, I don't really get excited for games anymore. But for some reason, I, I don't know, I, I am excited for 2019. Okay, looks like Gasly is going to cross over the line to take the win. So yeah, as the fireworks light up the sky, Pierre Gasly sets a fast slap as he crosses over the line to take home the win of this Bahrain Grand Prix. We come home in exactly the same place we started, P8. So I'm happy with that one. Yeah, I know, I know LGS. Do you ever plan on playing online again? Uh, I feel like consistency was probably the key today. I don't know. There's being quick and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalize on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. Oh, that's me. <laughs> Welcome then to the podium, our top three drivers. What a great effort from them today in a very difficult race. Uh, but yeah, Ray Ray, it, do you mean like competing in online championships and all that? I don't think so. Because like, I want to win, so I get kind of obsessed, so I just, I practice until my my arms fall off. Uh, I can show you real quick, give me a moment. I'll just wait for the commentators to and shut up. Now let's take a look at the driver standings. It's a good result for Lewis Hamilton, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. And now I'd like to ask you, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? Well, I have to give it to Kimi Raikkonen. Consistency, good battle, sensible driving. He can be pleased with that performance today. On to the constructors then. Mercedes have extended their lead at the top of the standings. Meanwhile, a strong weekend from Red Bull this time out, and they improve their position in the championship. Well, what a weekend that has been. Please join us next time for another thrilling installment of this Formula One season. Oh, and Albon lost out, lost out in the last lap. Albon ended up P12. But yeah, like, let me see if I can show you. Do you guys see? I'm going to bring up, to bring up OBS so I can see what I'm... So I can see what I'm showing you guys. I'm going to try and so I'm going to have to switch. Uh, I don't know. 
I'll just make another scene and put my... Okay. Okay. So yeah. Uh, do you notice this is fake 2019 because... Yes, this is fake 2019 because the 2019 game hasn't come out yet. This is the mod. So, this is my old Trustmaster T150. I'm going to try and show you guys. Do you see... Do you see all the rubber? Like on the handle that's missing? On the inside of it? Like, that's for me driving so much, I rubbed off the... With my own hands, I destroyed that rubber. That's how much I practiced. This is the wheel I was using when I was league racing. Uh, and when I was winning championships and all that. So, so yeah, when, when I start, uh, that's the league racing stuff, once I start into like competitive mode, I become obsessed and when I don't win or I get crashed in like turn one, I feel like all the time I put into the game, um... I feel like all the time I put into the game is a waste and I feel like throwing myself off a bridge of a bridge so yeah No I know Nunu don't uh, I know Nunu don't uh... <laughs> Yeah Yeah I really destroyed my will because, yeah, I just go obsessed and I just do... Like, I used to do one, over 100 laps on time trial and do at least 350% races or more uh, just to test, like, everything from my consistency to the to the race pace on certain tires to how long can I stretch them. And once, for example, I get, like, killed in turn one, all that time goes to waste and I could have been doing much useful stuff. So, yeah, I... League racing for me is too stressful. <laughs> I, I don't think I'm going to get into it. The fans really seem to enjoy that. You made it look easy. You made it look easy. That was an epic battle today. How do you think this will play out? Uh, pfft. whatever. It wasn't the cleanest race today, was it? Yeah, I used to I used to really Great. practice a lot. Well, that's, that's why I was winning championships back in F1 2016. That's why I, I can race 110 AI and all that. Like it didn't it wasn't it didn't come out of thin air. Like I practiced a lot. I put a lot of time into the games. What did I say to the online racing question? Hopefully you saw the state out of my will. Like, I used to practice very hard. And, like, a lot, really. Um, so, what would happen is that I would practice and all that. And then I, w I would come to a race, get knocked out in lap one. And I would feel like m throwing myself off a bridge. So, I don't really want to feel myself li like that. Uh, so, yeah. It's not... I'm not the healthiest mentally when it comes to league racing. Especially because then I start getting my results and then I see people quicker than me and I get very depressed. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, just over 1500 resource points, which is great. We got uh, the qualify 8 or better target, which he just nailed it. We qualified in 8. A couple teams don't like me, whatever. Uh, and yeah, let's read the message. Okay, good. Uh, eating your targets. Okay, we eat our targets, which you is hit great. Your last team goal. Well done. That should get the team a nice boost to their development, and it won't hurt when it comes to your next contract review either. And I'll get. Don't I have like a major break upgrade? Oh, it's after that tire wear one. Ah, I don't really want that. I'm going to get this one. And I'm going to get this one. Yeah. 
And hopefully they get delivered as Azerbaijan. The only race you don't want a safety car, you get a safety car. <laughs> yeah, you are not racing in right now because of the same. Yeah, right. It's it's quite. I get quite depressed. Um, let's move to the next weekend. Let's get the um, all the notifications. Like, see if any upgrades got through or anything like that. And then I'm going to um, wrap up the live stream, go have dinner or something, and then I'll come back. Uh, to the next live stream. The new parts have arrived from the factory without issue. They'll be fitted to the car in time for the next. Session. Yeah, I, I didn't I didn't practice uh I didn't practice one day or one hour before league racing. Like as soon as that race was done, I would start practicing on the next one. So, okay, we have to complete two clean races. Okay, let's see how that goes. Uh, and we got the ERS upgrades fitted to the car, which is great. So, yeah, guys, this is it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like button. If you did not, the dislike button is, as always, right beside it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. Hit the bell icon for any uh, notifications of whenever I'm about to start a live stream or to post a video. If you are on YouTube, if you are on Twitch, a follow would be greatly appreciated. Hope to see you guys next time. And have a wonderful day. Goodbye.